friends welcome back to your favorite channel we'll bring you trending and interesting news from around the world i welcome you once again to this session thank you for subscribing to this channel thank you for watching the news thank you for listening thank you for commenting and thank you for sharing the news to friends family relations we appreciate you so much i'd like to quickly request that you please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate you. All right. Now, the news says, insecurity, Biafran agitation is impeding the establishment of the Southeast Regional Security Outfit, Ohanese claims. An Igbo sociocultural youth organization, Ohanese Youth Council, has decried the challenges impeding the establishment of the Southeast Regional Security Outfit, Obunigwe, designed to check security issues facing the zone. This is coming barely a few days after the Southeast Zone had on Sunday declared that it would not implement the community policing templates rolled out by the police hierarchy. In a comic presented by the zone, after an enlarged meeting in Enugu and read by the chairman of the Southeast Governors Forum and the Ebony State Governor, Chief David Umahi, the Inspector General of Police, Mr. Adamu Abubakar, was accused of going contrary to the earlier agreement reached on the matter. But Ohaneze Youth attributed the inability of the geopolitical zone to achieve a common regional security outfit to enforce uh, to the efforts of our enemies of Indigo and the fear of the Biafran agitators being recruited. But Ohanese Indigo, I come again please, attributed the inability of the geopolitical, geopolitical zone to achieve a common regional out, uh, security outfit to efforts of enemies of Ndebo and the fear of the Biafran agitators being recruited as the foot soldiers of the proposed Obunigwe security outfit. There is a continuous attempt by political musketers and Igbo extern external oppressors to blackmail and intimidate the Southeast governors over their fearless stance on the establishment of a Southeast Regional Security Outfit. Obunigwe, after the latest meeting, it claimed, the Ohanese Youth Council in a press release signed by Mazi Okechuku Isiguzoro and Oku Nabuike on Thursday, also challenged the David Umahi-led Southeast Governors Forum to respect and protect the aspirations of Igbos by accelerating moves to establish the regional security to tackle the influx of Almagiris into Igbo communities. Ohanese Youth said it would mobilize and volunteer 1,000 youths for the commencement of the regional security outfit. So as it is, the Hanese Youth Council have come out to say that uh, the problem and the reason, the main challenge why the Southeast security outfit Obunigwe is yet to be formed and fashioned out is as a result of the agitation for Biafra and the external enemies of the Indigos. Could this be true? Guys, what are your thoughts concerning these particular claims of the Ohanese Indigo? You recall that the uh, Southwest counterparts had already established their own version, which is called the Amotekun. The Amotekun had been uh, formed for some time, and um, you know they begin. They have begun to even operate. Where the Southwest governors have actually launched theirs and they have begun to operate in some parts of the western part of the country. But it remains to be seen how the eastern parts, uh, counterparts, you know, would actually go about things. They are yet to 
be formed. Their own is yet to be formed, but we want to believe that there's been a framework. Uh, they have had a series of meetings with the Inspector General of Police and uh, how things will be done. But it remains to be seen if and how they will go about it as it were. So guys, from the look of things, do you think that the Southwest, uh, sorry, the Southeast region are actually ready to um, float their new outfit? That is one. Two, do you also think that, or do you believe that uh, it, the agitation of Biafra has impeded the security outfit, the creation of the security outfit of the Southeast? Because I do not see how one can claim that uh, the, uh, the, the, the creation of this, uh, the, uh, the creation of the Southeast um, security outfit openly is being impeded by the agitation for Biafra. The, those agitating for Biafra are different and are separate. Not all the people, not all Igbos are actually Biafran uh, IPOP members or Masob members or the Biafran Youth League members, as it were. So the Igbos are very, very uh, many. So not all are part of the agitation for Biafra. And um, the Southeastern governors definitely know whom to recruit when they want to recruit. And as it were, the IPOP members, the Masob or the Biafra Youth Leagues are not uh, arms carrying groups and they don't carry arms. So I see no reason why the Ohanese Youth Council should uh, claim that the agitation of Biafra has impeded the uh, creation of the Southeast Regional Security Outfit. I think that is incorrect if you'd ask me, but I stand to be corrected though if I am wrong. So well, be that as it were, the, 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 the governors, the Southeast governors has come out to say that uh, the templates that they agreed with the Inspector General police you know that the inspector general police later recited and changed the template which they disagreed upon but still are already beginning to filter in that uh, they have reached a common ground or probably an agreement with the um with the inspector general of police which uh points to the fact that sooner or later you know they are going to have a green light to actually commence the security outfit. So it remains to be seen the manner and ways and fashion form that it will take as it were. So guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? From the look of things, the Southeast, you know, really needs this security outfit since community policing is not yet enforced or it is not yet approved for Nigeria because what will have suited the Nigerian space is actually the security uh, community policing but since that is a challenge on that so it remains to be seen how uh, things would uh, turn out to be but the rate at which you know crime banditry the full and headsman attack on the people in the southeast and the southwest has uh, has uh, risen is beginning to give serious concern and one would expect that sooner than later these uh, efforts are put in place or these outfits are actually established in the southeast to curtail the activities of the Fulani headsmen banditry and some other vices that need to be uh, totally eradicated from the communities and the states just like uh, it is happening in some states in the southwest. Like now the Amoteko are already enforced and they are backed by law and they are working in some states. Some states are yet to implement this while some are still uh, are holding on uh, while some are already swung into action and they are actually already working at their borders. You know, these are some of the uh, uh, areas where you know, the state governors really have exercised their authority and their power and their wisdom. And to a very large extent, you can see that it is working. Aside from just protecting the borders and protecting the communities, they, it has also created jobs for some youths and some people who are part of it, which to a very large extent, you know, would help 
take off out some or take off people from the street as it were so it is what it is drop by the comment section let's know what your thoughts are on this particular news story don't forget to subscribe to the ch this channel hit the bell icon as well so you can get notification whenever we post new stories thank you so much guys i appreciate your support and i'll see you on the other news thank you and bye for now